with thousands dead and so many more displaced in Pakistan from the recent flooding. President Obama just pledged $10 million of USAID to go to the country. Well, behind me is that pledge being put into action with airmen and soldiers on Bagram Airfield. But here in neighboring Afghanistan, there was much work to be done before loading relief supplies onto Air Force cargo jet. Right here. In a completely joint effort since the initial U.S. pledge of support, U.S. Army soldiers and airmen have worked around the clock transporting, preparing, and loading thousands of relief meals on pallets. What we got? What we got? How long have you guys been at it? Uh, since uh, I think today's would be the third night. Third night. Uh, day and night. How's that feel? Uh, it's a little bit tiring. I've been working 12-hour uh, shifts. What's it like being out here in Bagram and, and helping out with a relief effort like this? Uh, it's actually been pretty fun so far for us, you know. Normally, we've just been here just a week, uh, my unit, and uh, we've just been doing a bunch of training so we can get ready to replace the one unit. And it's actually kind of nice to come and do this over here. Wherever you guys are ready. ready These vital supplies are some of the very first aid to reach Pakistan with others streaming in from the international community. U.S. Air Force C-17 pilot and mission commander Captain Tim Goodwillie will be flying tonight's load into Pakistan. We found out that we were actually going to take part of that, which is a huge, huge honor for us, uh, for the entire crew, uh, to be able to uh, you know, help those people out any way we can you know, with our capability in the C-17. Is tonight your first mission, or uh, how many missions have you? Have you already set, sent a couple? Uh, this is the first mission for us, yes. For, your, for, this, for this particular plane? For this particular plane. It's also his first humanitarian mission and first time landing on Pakistani soil. Nerves, anything like that? Uh, not really, not, not, not too many nerves. I mean, there's a lot of eyes on us, which is uh, a little more publicity than normal. But uh, like I said, as long as we can just get the job done and get the, the aid to where it needs to go, uh, we'll, we'll feel really, really satisfied as a crew um, to be able to do that. So. All right, we are clear to land. We can get a safety. Waiting for the airspeed to roll back. Uh, airspeed's coming back. In pitch black, the C-17 crew flies over the Afghan border and makes a 45-minute flight Go. into northwest Pakistan. Right, when you're ready to do right, move that down. Airman Christian Rue has seen the flood damage on television and is now one of the first U.S. responders in country. It feels pretty cool. I mean, it's different to actually be like the main factor that's contributing to helping. This C-17 out of Charleston Air Force Base, South Carolina, delivered more than 75,000 pounds of food with just one load. More officials say is coming. Thus far, the U.S. military has delivered some 345,000 meals to aid the Pakistani people holding on for life, as many are still marooned from the flooding. Marine Staff Sergeant Jeremy Vaught, Peshawar, Pakistan.